right, man, let's talk about Marlon Humphreys. He plays cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens out of Alabama. And a couple of days ago, which I wanted to wait till I got to the computer to do this video, he uh he criticized Simone Bile and another United uh US Olympian for celebrating the Brazilian woman uh beating them in one of the gymnastic events. It might have been the freestyle. Um so this was the actual picture and um this was the actual picture of them celebrating um her now a lot of people might say well this is one this is an american and i mean i don't buy into that you know um give me one minute and a lot of people you know i, I don't know they're praising the brazilian women now if you don't know and I didn't know this. Brazil has the highest population of black uh, of Af uh, African people of African descent, or or black people, whatever you want to call them. I think black is more uh, synonymous with American, but melanated people. How about that? Outside of the great continent of Africa, all right? They don't identify as that, and that's one of the, the taboo things around the world is that when you come here, um, you know, you know, we just seen as blacks. A lot of people don't like the term African American because we many many generations removed from that. Some people say we don't come from there. Blah say blah, right? So, you know, just to kind of give you a fun fact that I didn't know that, but they consider themselves Brazilians. Um, but you know, that the they they ethnic is is you know you know black. So both of these are American women. Simone won the silver. She won uh the uh uh the go the bronze all right so so her name is jordan childs and her name obviously is simone bile so she didn't want a bunch of gold medals this year previous year uh previous olympics and they praising her for getting the job done so uh uh i'm trying to find i don't know if he deleted it so give me a minute um um so if we can find his exact, exact quote. So basically, this is what he said. This is what he said. Uh, he said, this is literally disgusting. Simone Biles and Jordan Child show love to Rebecca Andrade after she won her first gold medal of the Paris Olympics. So he said this was disgusting. All right. So... Um, Tori Smith, who used to play for the Baltimore Ravens, said, Troll, women supporting women is actually the opposite of disgusting. Uh, 600K words in the English language, and these are the four you choose to describe gracious acts of sportsmanship. Um, he said, yeah, giving someone their flowers who has come back from three ACL tears to continue to be top, the top gymnast, uh, to be a top gymnastic is disgusting. See, he, he coming from a competitive standpoint of view, okay? That's where his mindset from. And he didn't take it down. So shout out to him for standing on business. Um, he's, he's speaking from a competitive standpoint of view. But my thing is this. Um, even when you look at the National Football League, and very much so even the National Basketball League, even when you look at those leagues, man, one thing about it is that it's so much of that going on in the league. I didn't see people lose Super Bowls, Larry O'Brien trophies, NBA championships and they hugging each other and they going out to dinner. I didn't, I think I forget what I think it was NBA championship that the losing team was, or was at the NBA championships party partying with them. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember, you know, they was in there, they congratulating them. And, you know, I didn't see people lose heartbreaking games and they praying with each other after the game and they hugging each other, you know, back in the day, man, you know, used to lose some, some championships. I like, guess what? We got to fight. Oh, don't talk to me. Don't hug me. And to a certain extent, I respect that. That's I respect that's made it a sport, but also showing humanity and showing, you know, showing that here to a woman who he, which he didn't know, because I just found it out that had three or two ACL tears. And this, this, this would, you know, I, I don't have an issue with it, you know, and in this situation, Olympics, you know, but I do kind of got an issue like y'all football players be losing the game and then y'all be hugging the opponents and praying with them and, 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 and they're crying with each other. Like, I kind of more uh, the generation of 
how Isaiah and Bill Lambeer and them just walked out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They just walked out without shaking Michael Jordan in them hand, like the Celtics did them. That's how, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But in this situation, I don't have no issue with it. I think he was bugging, um, I, quite frankly. Um, you know, them showing love to her, you know, coming back from her trials and tribulations and all that. Um, I just don't have no issue with it. And then when you compete once every four years, as long as it wasn't no time fooling in the year, I don't have an issue with it. I mean, that's become the norm in sports. How many times Marlon Humphreys and them that lost the game and they really was mad? Like, they cool. They going home millionaires. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, they going home millionaires. You know what I'm saying? So they do that a lot in, 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 in a professional American, especially uh, the men. Especially the men. The women are more ruthless than the men are. Am I lying? The women are more ruthless than the men. They trying to tear Caitlin Clark head off. And then, by the way, them not putting Caitlin Clark in in the recent Olympics, don't nobody care about watching them neither. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody care about watching them. So... I ain't heard nobody mean I don't really don't watch the Olympics. I keep it real. I like to watch the sprinters and maybe just keep up with basketball. I don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch it, bro. I just don't I don't have a vested interest. I don't really watch TV like that anymore. Uh, only sport I really religiously watch at this point. Um you know, honestly, only sport I really religiously like right watch at this point. Um is uh it's football on Sundays. You know, that's it. You know. That's it. But uh, I don't have an issue. I think he was out of pocket. Um no do he should he apologize? No, if you believe what you believe in, don't apologize on shit. But I think he was out of pocket on this one. I don't have any problem uh with these young women with these young women praising the woman that came back of Especially two black women praising another black woman, you know, even though they may not consider themselves black, have no issue with it. I don't never have issue with good sportsmanship in this in this in this scenario. Now I have an issue when you lose a game, like the Ravens lose a game, and then the heartbreaking game, y'all be hugging, y'all be buddy buddy and all that shit. Like, man, I don't like that. And I don't really care for that. And for, like team sports, I, I just too much buddy buddy. Like, come on, it's just too much buddy buddy for me sometimes. This is cool. And not just because they women either. I'm not saying that because they women at all. It's just what she been through, and you know what I'm saying? And they showing her love, and you know, and then oh, well, you know, what about this country and all this type of stuff for that next? Look here for one, you know, uh, we very much mistreated in this country, and I don't think anybody can deny that as black people. So I mean, I'm just saying we very much so mistreated. So you know, for us to be, you know, gracious and still competing for this country, I think actually that we deserve a pat on our back for that. But I just don't have an issue with it in this in this setting. And I don't have an issue with it with like the NFL and NBA, but it's just anytime you oversaturate with something, it's buddy, 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 buddy. It's buddy, buddy all the way around. It's just like, come on, are y'all competing or y'all getting ready to set the mood for a romantic dinner? But in this scenario, I have any I have no issue with it, you know. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I don't really know what to call this playlist. I just call it Current Events NFL. It's just Marlon Humphrey in it. But huge Marlon Humphrey friend. You know, I got love for the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar and them. But we all make mistakes, and we got to think before we sit there and, um, you know, tweet sometimes some things that I'm about to post or whatever, and I got to be like, no, I don't do that. Don't post that. So we all live and learn. Uh, so, I disagree with him, um, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the Patreon links in the link tree. Check me on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, the whole nine. Peace.